just like to welcome uh, James Johnson. He's from Chandos Investments. He's one of the partners and developers of this fantastic estate. James, if I just could ask you, what uh, you and your partners, uh, that's Michael Domini and Mark, Mark Johnson, Johnson yeah. and, and yourself, what made you actually come up with the concept of King's Gates Estate? Um, we've been developing in the area for probably 20 years. We started with um, Kirtlington and we noticed that there were no, you know, um, entry level houses around about starting at the 599 mark. Yeah, it's been a so, big, uh, big gap in the market. So it was really that gap at the market yeah. that we're trying to offer a product for people um, who can afford from 600,000 up to 1.5 million. So it was really a, the market that drove the, the Kingsgate concept. And James, obviously we're the selling agents of, uh, of Kingsgate and we know all the facilities, but it's much more than just a housing estate. Could you just explain more or less what the concept behind that is? Okay, the, the whole idea is that we would like to um, create an outdoor living um, experience for families. So we've included all the um, facilities which regard swimming pools, gyms, creches. We've even got a small commercial component which will be at the entrance to the gate. So it's for the family affair um, that we've driven the, the uh, extramural activities that you will find at Kingsgate. And I think one of the benefits of them buying in Kingsgate, of course, is in a sense of Hillcrest. 100%. So, uh, obviously, we've got all the schooling and the shopping and good, uh, good freeway access. So it's actually a perfect position for them. And good neighbours, if you have a look. So from a value point of view, exactly. you're, you know, if you've got your neighbour and there are five, six million rand homes there, you know your, your yeah. investment share is going to yeah. be 100% safe. Right. So of course, beautiful championship golf yeah. courses. On your doorstep. On your doorstep. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And then what's your sort of timing, James? Just, just if I can go back, yeah. we, we, we were referring to the, the Democrats and you're talk, talking about the sales. I think yes. the interesting thing there, which we, we were a little bit, um, which was new to us, was converting from a sale to a conclusive sale. And what's um, really interesting here is that those conclusive sales are coming through as quickly as we're selling. So we're very, very excited Absolutely. about that as well. It's very exciting. It also means yeah. that the banks have really come to the party. Uh, th that's exactly what uh, it says. Yeah. Which is really exciting in the current socio-economic yeah. climate. Yeah. And I know that the banks have obviously put a lot of effort in improving the, the first-time buyers and our middle market, uh, which, which is fantastic. Yeah. Um, your timing, because I see obviously there's a lot of earthworks going on in the sites at the moment. You're obviously in ground. We're in the ground um, with the development of this size. Remember there's 500 and there will eventually be 560 homes. Plus you're going to have your yeah. facilities, which is your, your, your staff that will be employed here. Absolutely. Um, there's a hell of a lot of infrastructure to go in. So what you can see at the moment is the, the, the perimeter security, which yeah. is um, state of the art security. And then we, we're moving on with the roadworks and um, you'll see all the groundworks going in. You'll see all the, the main storm waters, yes. the main water, the electrical. That's all happening now. It's below the ground, so you don't see much of it, but it's happening. Which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. And just in terms of that, obviously the job creation from Kingsgate is going to uplift the community, surely. Yes, 100%. One of the things that with, with our funders, uh, SA Home Loans, um, one of the um, conditions were that we have to utilize local labor, local people, and, and there's percentages that we have to achieve as well. So it's all, it's all controlled and it's all good for the community. And James, we, obviously we've got a mix of apartments. We've got two and three bedroom apartments. We've got yep. two bedroom duplexes and obviously yes. our freestanding three and four bedroom homes. We know you're expecting first occupation okay. dates. Um, a year from now. That's very quick. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But that will be the first village. Those will be your um, your two and three bedroom apartments. That's what we're going to be cracking on with first. Then, so we, yeah. we anticipate, provided we don't have any delays with council. Yes. Um, you know, plans sometimes can take take a bit of time. Yes. Um, but we've covered all of that. So we should, we're hoping it will be in a year's time. About a year's time. Yeah. And James, your overall vision for Kingsgate, uh, I know you mentioned to me, you would like to see this rolled out perhaps across the country. So Correct. Maybe just come a blueprint to actually offer homes in good areas for people maybe maybe that couldn't afford it. Can you just speak a little bit about that vision overall? Um, we spend a lot of time with the Kingsgate um, brand and the logos, etc. Yeah. And we want to take that brand of Kingsgate probably to another, well, well wherever we can, but um, we've got four areas, four additional areas uh, earmarked. We've already looked in Amtata, yeah. and there's a couple of sites there that we're working on. So the, the vision would be to take Kingsgate 
to at least another four areas within South Africa. Okay, that's good. Well, James, I just want to uh, really say thank you. Yeah, and thank you. I think thank you to Chandos for the bra bravery which yeah. you had in actually launching a project like this because um, it's the first time it's ever happened. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to your team. Okay, thank you. pleasure. Bye bye.